one is the best. And how old are you, Jerry? Uh, 11. 11. And I hear that the head teacher told me that you're Coco's sister. Is that right? Coco is my sister. Oh, Coco is your sister. <laughs> But you're Coco's brother. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Jerry, because you know in English, in English, Jerry can be the name of a girl or a boy. Jerry can also be the name of a girl. Sorry? I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Yeah, I know. It does. Yeah, it's good. It can be, it's a name of a boy. It can be short for Gerald. It can be the name of a girl. It's short for Geraldine. So either way, you can call that person Jerry, whether he or she is, a, he's a boy or a girl, or she's a girl. So anyway, I'm very happy but, to, yeah, go ahead. But as my teacher in China, the school teacher, uh, in, he's only in China, we usually said Jerry is a boy. Yeah, good. And, and tell me, do you have any hobbies? Uh, yes. Well, what hobbies do you have? So, uh, playing football, um, and <clears throat> playing football, playing basketball, and tennis. Which sport do you like the best? Football. Football. Do you have a favorite football team? No. Okay. And what what do you want to be when you grow up? Mm, a pilot. Pilot. That's nice. Well, what made you want to be a pilot? Uh, firstly, a pilot in school. Secondly, the, a sea piece, a salary is high. And thirdly, sea piece can flow, flow around, around the world. <laughs> Four, many people respect sea piece. And five, sea piece is a cool job. Oh, you know exactly what you want. So when you say sea piece, you mean a commercial pilot, right? Yeah. So... That means you don't want to fly for the military. You don't want to fly for the government. You want to fly for uh, an airline. Um, in my opinion, I think you should fly an airline uh, pretty much 1,000 hours before you turn into a military bomber or military fighter because first, the military bomber fighter needs a lot of experience. And if I'm... If I'm, if I'm changing to the military world, I need to try to see people a lot, of, a lot of time. Oh, so, okay. And how did you find out about that? Because uh, many pilots who died when performing military, uh, performing military actions are not experienced. They don't know how to do a parachute or uh, land soft landing or just the sort of plane away. They mm -hmm. don't. They don't have experience when they are working as a commercial pilot. So that makes to their end. It, it sounds like you've did. You've done a lot of homework about it. Did you research about that, or do no. you just like reading about it? I just like reading about it. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> it seems that you're really bent on becoming a pilot one day and that's good i like that okay so the i i was sent your 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 essay because you want to you want to work on it right is this for school is no. this what is this for is it just for your english class yes mm -hmm. Okay, let's read it. But before we, we go there, I want to know what your title is. You didn't write any titles. Do you, do you want to propose a title? 
Não, verdade. I have no. I think essays don't need the title. The essay title is only essay. Okay, let's let's talk about that later. Let's think about that more later. So you're right for now. Let's just look a bit deeper into your content. So I'm going to make some marks here. Okay, can you read your first paragraph? There are many different ways of collecting historical information. In my opinion, during my research, I see consult written reports and collect audio photographs. Oh, and are two of the best ways to collect all the information. Okay, let's stop there. So first of all, I think your topic sentence is good. It's very specific and it's centered on your main idea, the different ways of co collecting historical information. Okay, and then you go on and expand it in your opinion and during your research. I think consult written records and collect old photographs are two of the best ways to collect old information. Okay, this one is good, but I think this needs a bit of work. This part. Home. Okay. Okay, this part. Let's change it, huh? And then highlight. Uh, hold on a bit. I'm looking for a, a tool that I, I can use. Okay, this you need to improve this part. What do you think is wrong there? What is this? Collect old photograph F. Hmm, something happened here. I don't know what it is. Collect old fo photographs with an S. Yeah. Okay, you found the highlighter. I think consult written records and collect old photographs. Okay, but I still think there's something wrong with this word, consult. What do you mean by consult written records? Um, that was the, um, that was the requirement of this, um, of this exam practice it said. It says ways in which you need to choose two ways in which information relating to your neighborhood can be collected and recorded for future generations. Choose two and um, explain it in your writing. And the first one is consult the region record. Well, I, I want to hear it from you. What do you think it means? What does consult written records mean? Um, look for old records. Well, what is an old record? A, a record that is written before about something that has happened before. Okay, good. It, for example, like what? For example, like... Um, like some, like somebody, um, um, I, like somebody plays a bomb inside a, a building and the bomb exploded and a social report including, um, uh, the police were written, uh, written this one. In 1960, uh, and in July, July 15th, uh, Morning 8 p.m. Oh no, morning 8 a.m. Somebody put uh, some, somebody died in the Oklahoma building and uh, it exploded. So it can make us find out what happened on that date and what the truth was. Good. So you're talking about old newspapers, newspaper reports from the past. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that but, uh, but there are some uh, records that uh, can be read on the website, like official records about 
uh, city's uh, mayor or Jackson because now our city has got a website that can explore all things about the city's history. Very good, yes. Very old city records that have been uh, uploaded into the internet, onto websites, you're right. So I want to know if you know what this means. What does it mean to consult? The mean consult, as I guess, consult is it, it mean, <coughs> consult it, it only means that if, if you consult something, like uh, I consult you about writing, that's a consult, I ask you about something. Mm -hmm. Good. So you're referring to someone or you're asking someone. Okay, so there's nothing wrong here with the sentence except for your, your verb tense. So it, this word should be, uh, it should be consulting. So this word should, should be, it should act like a, a noun, it should be part of a noun phrase. I think consulting written records and collecting, did you notice the parallel there? So you just added an ing so that you, your sentence would be grammatically correct, right? Oh, yeah. Because this forms, the, these three words, these three words form your noun phrase. So it has to be in, in, in a noun form. So the ing, you use the ing as a noun. Collecting old photographs and consulting written records are two of the best ways to collect old information. And once you do that, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing further that you, you need to do about your first paragraph. By that point, it would be perfect. Okay, good. So let's move on to the next one. To begin with, the first way of collecting is consult written records. Okay, now this part can be a bit confusing. It's going to sound a bit confusing, okay? See here, this word, collect, consult, they are confusing because you use collecting historical information here, and then you're talking about consulting written records here, and then you're talking about collecting old paragraph here. So you're using the same word for old paragraphs and historical information. So, in order to avoid, although there's nothing wrong with that, technically, but when you put them together in your essay, uh, you don't want people to be confused about what you're saying. So, so if you've decided on using collecting for historical information, then just use it for historical information, okay? So that means you have to find a different word for collecting old photographs, which is a bit more difficult. Before I continue, I want to know if you understand what I'm saying. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, it's just you don't use the same words again and again. Yes, you don't, it's not that you don't repeat the same words again and again, it's that you don't, you don't mix one keyword, you don't use one keyword for two different ideas in your essay because you're, you're explaining different ideas and you want to distinguish them, okay? okay. So here you said collecting is consulting written re records. Uh, okay, so this, this is easy to resolve. All you need to do is just uh, tweak your words a bit. You just need to tweak, tweak your words a bit. So again, we have to correct this, right? How are you going to correct this word phrase, this noun phrase? You have to say consulting with an ing. Okay, you have to say consulting. The first, yeah, you can say the first, look up. Look up. 
So now, okay, good. Is looking up, all right, yeah. If you want to say looking up, then you just change it to looking up. So do you want to use look up or do you want to use consulting? Look up, look up. Okay, looking up. The first way of collecting. All right, now I suggest, I suggest that you change collecting. I suggest changing collecting historical information because you, you will be, uh, hold on please, you will be connecting the word collecting with old photographs. Do you, <laughs> do you understand? You're going to connect the word collecting with the photographs. So you want to use a different word for historical information. Do you understand? So you're going to have different signal words so that it's clearer. So I suggest, can you come up with a, a similar word or a synonym for collecting? Finding. Finding, okay. Finding is a good word. Anything else? Finding and collecting are different, you know. Collecting is you're accumulating it under your care. Finding is just discovering it and realizing it exists. So they're not exactly the same. But I suggest, I suggest Assemble. the word, yeah? Assemble. Assemble, good. But uh, assemble is more like, uh, all right, okay, let's write it down, assemble. Okay, assemble is best used for building, building something. Like, for example, if you buy a piece of furniture at Ikea and you want to put it together when you come home, you say you need to assemble it. Yeah, gather is a good, it actually is the perfect word. So... Yeah, you just read my mind. So I think that that would make the best, the best replacement. So instead of collecting historic, historical data, you just say gathering. So you're going to change it to get, gathering. Okay. There are many different ways of gathering historical data. So you understand why we changed it, right? Because we're going to use collecting as a signal word for photographs. I, I also suggest changing this information. Can you change it to to a better a better vocabulary word? What other word sound uh, it has the same meaning as information? Info. Info. Anything else besides info? Info. Information, I information, information, information. Uh, there may be another replacement for information that would be facts or statics. Did you say statics? Statistics? Yes. Yes. Statistics would be numbers numbers and figures and there that's not the only thing that you need you need all kinds of information so the word that i suggest is data do you know this word data oh, yeah, I so i think it sounds better in your in your essay you need different you need to know the different ways of gathering historical data because data just like information covers a lot of a lot of material, but it sounds better because you only have two syllables, whereas information has four syllables. So do you, do you agree with changing information into data? Yes. Okay, good. So let's change it. Data. So you just change this word. So now your first paragraph has been transformed. There are many different ways of gathering historical data. In my opinion, and during my research, I think consult in my, okay. All right, so you have two things. You have your opinion and you have research. Okay, let's settle this one later. 
I think consulting written records and collecting old photographs are two of the best ways to collect old information. To begin with, the first way of collecting is looking up written records. Okay, so this part is done. Now we can move on. Can you read the, the rest of the paragraph, starting with written? Written records write down exactly what happened and can make us know the truth. Also, more written records that we can see is official, which means that they didn't record opinion, but only truth. What people think of him or her cannot be expressed by the records. We cannot find out what people's opinions are about the event, but the process. Okay. All right. That's a good idea there. So you said that written records write down written records write down exactly what happened. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Written records record what happened. You have to make this specific. What do you mean? Can you can you replace this uh, phrase exactly what happened? Okay, here. I'm going to suggest changing this phrase right down because you're being redundant. It's already a written record, so we know that it's written down. So you don't have to say it. Do you understand, Jerry? When you say that something is a written record, you don't have to tell me that it writes something down because it's written. So you don't need to say this. So I suggest changing it with another word that means exactly what you want to say. So I suggest the word document. Okay. Document. Do you know what document? Do do you know why I suggested the word document? What does it mean? Document is a formal and official record. It's a formal and an official record and it's a verb. It's a verb. When you document something, you make sure that nobody will forget what happened. So it doesn't matter if it's if it's written or spoken, if you use the drawing or, or words, it's something that you keep to remind everybody of what happened. So it's a more general, it's a more technical term. Plus, you don't want to, you don't want to repeat yourself because, you know, you don't want to explain the obvious. A, a written record obviously is written, so you shouldn't say this. But instead, you, they document exactly what happened and can make us know the truth. Okay, here. As a reader, I want to know what you're talking about. What is this thing that happened? Can you give a more specific term? What is it that you want to document? The real truth about what happened, like the bombing that I mentioned before, it's just the uh, building exploded. That that is what really happened. Okay, good. Yes, you're talking about wars. Yeah, people's, people's opinions were it was maybe like that is a terrible bombing or. Are, it's good because uh, because uh, many um, bad, many prisoners are in there or so on. That's what people's opinions are. Okay, is it is a, a written record just about bombs? Is it just about bombing bombings? Is it just? No, I'm just uh, I'm just giving you an example. Yes, yeah. so not just the only. Yes, good. You gave me a good example. So one event is a war or a bombing incident. Well, what other things do, do historical records document? Can you give me another example besides wars or battles or fighting? 
let me think. A new kind of plane be built or a new kind of stars or so on. Okay. Discovering a new star in the heavens or building new equipment, building a new type of transportation. Okay, good. So it yeah. can be anything, right? So written records document things that have transpired or things that have happened in history. Okay, things that have happened in history, in the past. Because here I'm, I'm not exactly sure what happenings you're talking about. So this one is a more, when you're talking about history, you're talking about birth, death, work, discoveries, technological advancement, wars, anything, right? Yeah. So you need a more general uh, phrase to cover all of that. So all of these things are documented in written records. Written rec records document things that have happened in history. So you agree with using the word document? Do you agree with this phrase? Things that have happened in history? In the past, I think that is better. Okay, that have happened in the past, good. So now it's more specific than just talking about exactly what happened. Because when you say thing, something that has happened, I'm, it will make me think as a reader, what is he talking about? Is he talking about something that I don't know? Right, what has happened? That, that's what the phrase means. Like, you know, did, did, uh, was there a, a big tsunami 30 minutes ago? Is that what he's talking about? But it's not, you're talking about everything possibly that has possibly been documented in the past okay so we're going to replace that written records document things that have happened in in the past and make us know the truth okay uh so that so change your connecting word you're gonna change your connecting word to so that, right? Yeah, so that is much better. Why, why did I change and to so that? Do you know why? Oh, uh, so that it can make us, so that it. Yes. Or you can use an active voice so that we can. So that we can. How about that? What do you think about that? That is better. Is it better? So let's strike this out, okay? So we have just improved your sentence. Things that have happened in the past so that we can know the truth. So instead of an addition, you're talking about the result. See, we, we use this connecting word so that you can show the readers what the result is. So that we can know the truth. Also, most written records are official that we can... Okay, written records are not really easy for us to see. We have to dig deep in order to find them. They're not uh, available to everybody. I mean, you need to do a lot of work in order to find the very old written records. So I suggest changing this, see? Most written records that we can find. Can we change it to find? Jerry? Maybe. Do, do you understand why I suggest find instead of see? Yeah, because you have to first see, first find, and then you can see. Yeah, it's not, it's not really easy to see. 
when you see when you say you see something i mean it's it implies that you just open your eyes and it's there for you to see in the in the same way that you can see a building yeah but, but now i think this process in our city is much easier like you want to see like what's who was who was who the mayor was in 1968 you can just type in uh, what happened in 1968 and you will mayor something will be and it's I think it's much quicker and easier to search for information than very, before. Very, very true. You have to look through uh, boxes of newspapers to find one particular article. You're absolutely correct. But even when you type in your keyword into a browser or into a search engine, you're still searching for it. You're still digging underneath all of those links. It's not very easy for you to see. Because most people don't do searches. Most people don't do research. They just, you know, they just look at things that are there and easy for people to find. But in fact, when you research, you have to find it. It's not for everybody to see, whether it's, it's you going to the library or going to the internet. So I, I'm just explaining to you the nuances of the English word. When you say see, it's something that you can notice without making a lot of effort. Just like when you go to the park, immediately you see a, a, a statue or a monument and it doesn't require a lot of effort on your part. So for written records, you have to search it out. You have to type it, you have to go to the websites, you have to click on a lot of links. You have to really search it. It's not just for, for you to see. Okay, so most written records that we can find is official, which means they didn't record opinions, but only truths. Okay, a truth is different from a fact. A truth is a deeper meaning, but I think the word that you want here is fact. But only facts. Truth has a, has a, has a, it implies a, a different, it's a different concept. It's sort of like when, when you ask deeper questions about your life, like, why am I here? Is there a God in this world? Did the God make me? What is my purpose in life? Those are truths that you have to look for. You're looking for deeper wisdom in life. But written records record facts. A fact is something that is undisputable and can be proven. Like if I say you were born on November 1st, 1995, that is a fact. And most written records record facts. Do you agree, Jerry? Yeah. Facts instead of truths. Yeah, but, but as I mentioned later, there can come something that uh, can muddy the waters. Uh, again? Again? Well, the summer records that it's not official, like, like, it's, like, for example, uh, um, like, Nick's friend Mark uh, is a criminal and has put a bomb inside the building, but Nick wants it, Nick, uh, but, but Nick is Mark's friend, so maybe if he writes it, he would not written it as Mark, so then maybe can muddy the waters. Muddy the waters. All right, that's an entirely different uh, story altogether. So that would be a different topic, but here you're just talking about what written records are. Okay, so, at, at this point, in this sentence, you're just giving the definition of a written record. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. You're, you're just giving the definition. You're not really uh, sharing your opinion or anything like that. Written records are official. But then again, this sentence is also problematic because how do you know if the written record is official? How do you know it? Like if I find it on the official website, it must be official. If you like to do, 
get a biography of somebody in mm -hmm. the by others and not official. Yes, some written records are not official while others are official. So most of the time it's easy to see which is which. So for, for, your, for your intention of collecting historical data, you should be going to official records first. So you should go ahead and state that fact up front. Official records, records document facts. See, here. Official, these, look at these two sentences. Official records document facts. And then the other one says, most written records that we, that we can find is official. This is not actually true. We have no statistics that prove that most written records are official. It's just that when you do your research, you should go straight to the official records. You should not even you should consider unofficial records much later. Do you, do you know what I mean, Jerry? Okay. Yeah. If but you know, yeah. As you see, as you see the uh, um, the exam practice is that we need to write in 2,220 and 360, but if now, I think if we wrote too much thing like official record document, Fact, I think I, we don't need that sentence because official records are did all document facts. Mm, and I think if we are written all the things down, the word will be too much. Okay. I, I understand your, your concern about the number of words, but your concern for the format should not, should not change the truth of what you're saying. You should not be making up uh, sentences that are not really true just so that you can fill in a number of words because this sentence is not true. Most writ written records that we can see or find is official. This is just not true because you need the numbers and you need figures to back up what you said. So there are a lot of written records that are not official, and these are diaries, diaries of people who lived in the past. They wrote about what happened in their lives. These are letters that people wrote to each other. These are all historical data, and they are records, but they are not official. But still, that, that they are a reliable source of information. And they are, there are a lot of them, much more than official records, which are the ones that are being documented by local government or by uh, established organizations. So as you can see, Jerry, this sentence is not, is not verifiable. If we can't prove it, if you don't have the statistics to show it, then it's not true. And then if you put a sentence there that it's not true, it's going to destroy the credibility of your essay. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Saying things that are true is much more important than meeting the number of words that you need on your, on your homework. Okay. okay. So I, I hope you understand that because one day you're going to be a writer. And you, you need to constantly make sure that what you say is true. And it's not just a, because if you think about it, this sentence is your opinion. It's not, it's not a definition anymore. It's not, it's not a fact. So, which means they either, okay. So I suggest you should okay. say official records document facts and this is why, this is why what? They make reliable sources of research when gathering historical data. Okay, what, what do you think about this? Can you read this and tell me what you think about it? 
official government facts, and that, and this is why they take reliable sources of research when gathering historical data. Uh, that is very good to do because it includes all we need. It in Sorry, you said it includes all we need? So, yeah. so would you consider rep using this to replace your sentence? This one? Yes, that is uh, that is what. Okay. So, we can connect it to your paragraph now. Official records document facts. What people think of him or her okay now what is this what people think of him or her cannot be expressed by the records we cannot find out what people's opinions are about the events but the process so now okay here we were talking about official records and talking we were talking about facts mm. So now you introduced a new character here. Who is the him or her? Who, who are you talking about? Um, the him or her, uh, her is like this document is right on, is, is about uh, Nick. And the him or her is Nick, the one that is in the record. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the subject of the written record the subject or the person the record is talking about. Is that what you mean, Jerry? Yes. Okay, although that's good, but a written record is not always about a person. Sometimes it's just about an event, like for example, a typhoon or an earthquake that happened. So not all records are about people. So here, you suddenly introduced a pronoun, but we don't know who it's talking about. So you say it's talking about a person that might have been mentioned in the record. Okay, so we, we have to make that more specific. What people, and who, which people are you talking about? Are you talking about people in the past, people who wrote the records, or are they the people who are reading the historical records? The historical record. I'm 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 asking about people. Wh which people are they? Famous people. Oh, famous, famous people. people. Yeah. Are you sure? The one, the one in the record. That is what I mean. Okay, the one. The subject of the record is the him or her, right? This is the one in the record, but these people are some something else. I think you're talking about you're talking about the people who lived during the time of the incident. Okay, so you know if there are too many if there are too many questions about your sentence, it means it's a problematic sentence. You need to make it more specific. So, what people think of, okay, I think what you mean is the opinion. The opinion of what, of other people on the, Okay, no, 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 it doesn't make sense. What people think of him or her cannot be expressed by the records. Okay, the reason why I'm confused is because it's uh, sort of like a different topic, not related to the same one that is in your paragraph here. Okay. It's uh, introducing a new idea that doesn't seem to be connected to your paragraph. Because you're talking about the way of, uh, the first way of collecting, the first, 
begin with, the first way of of collecting is looking up written re records. So you're talking about written records here and why it makes a good method of gathering historical data. So here we already changed collecting into gathering, right? So this should be gathering. Gathering historical data. Okay, so let's get back to this one. Official records document facts, which is why they make reliable sources of research when gathering historical data. Okay, I think this is what you mean. Opinions about the subject is not expressed in the records. Okay. Okay, this is my suggestion. And this is your sentence. You're talking about the opinions of the subject. So I changed him or her into subject because the subject is not always about people. Sometimes it's just an event like bombings or births or deaths. Okay? But you don't need the opinion. You just need the facts. You just need the facts from the official record. So do you think, it, is this the one that you're talking about? Is this what you mean? Because I think your main idea is you don't need the opinion when, when you're looking for, for the information that you need, right? You don't need the opinions of other people. No, we need them. But if it cannot be expressed with the records. Mm hmm Yes. You need them, but they cannot be yeah they're not they're not expressed at all it's not that they cannot they're it's just not done so opinions about the subject is not expressed in the records as opposed to what people think of him or her so what people think i replaced it with opinions him or her i replaced it with subject because a subject covers events, not just people. Do you understand, Jerry? Yes. And do you agree? Oh, I think that is uh, good. Yes, I hope so. It, it should be a good sentence because your, your topic should cover more than just people. History is not just about people, it's about the things that happen around them. Okay, so you need a more general subject, a, a more general sentence to talk about it. Okay, so let, let's read your first two paragraphs. Clear all drawings. Can you read this, this part? There are many different ways of gathering historical data and that has been in during my research. I think the historical way of records and collecting old, old photographs are, most, are two of the best ways to collect old information to begin with. As a way of connecting, gathering historical data is look up written records. Written records document things that uh, have happened in the past so that we can know the truth. Official records document facts, which is why they 
made reliable sources of research when gathering historical data. Opinions about subject does not expect in the record. Okay. Is it faithful to what you want to say, Jerry? Is it ex yes. It's exactly what you want to say, right? Um, this is your main idea. You want to talk about the best ways of collecting historical data. So you're explaining why these ways are the best. Okay. Right? Okay, good. So unfortunately, we don't have time left. If you want to, we can have another class where we can talk about your other paragraphs because it's not so long. I think there's just three or four more paragraphs here. So I suggest maybe we could talk about it again in another, another lesson, okay? Okay. Do you want to grab a screenshot of your, of, of your two paragraphs? Yes. Wait a oh. Okay. So that you can write it down in your notebook. Okay. I have I have a shot. Have you made a screenshot? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Thank you very much for coming to class, Jerry. That's okay. You are a very smart boy and this is a very difficult topic for you to write about, but you did a good job here. Okay? Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.